Being introverted and dealing with social anxiety for the majority of my life almost drove me to giving up on music. What's going on guys? My name is Adam Ivey and I'm here to help you go further faster in your music career by sharing proven marketing techniques and strategies so you could take your passion for making music and transform it into a legitimate business that will provide you with more freedom and fulfillment. All right, so as an introvert trying to build a brand and a career in the music industry, how do we network while doing everything else that we need to do while avoiding people as much as possible. Now, I've been producing music for over 12 years now, and on top of that, you might not know this, but I've been heavily involved in the corporate world as a marketing director, a consultant, a strategist, for several multi-million dollar businesses over the past 10 years. Now, with that being said, I've been able to accomplish all this while low-key being an incredibly introverted person myself. In fact, I suffered from social uh, anxiety for years, and it was actually pretty bad. I used to have social anxiety so bad, guys, that I would be deathly afraid of the thought of going to the mall or going to a party. And I would cancel plans last minute, like 99% of the time. It stopped me from participating in valuable networking events and studio sessions that I was invited to back in the day. And even though I could say that I eventually got over those fears, uh, it's something that I'm still working on and I'm still uncomfortable with large crowds of people that I don't know. That's something that I'm always gonna have to work on, right? There's a few things that I've learned over the years though that have really helped me and I wanna share those with you guys. Well, to start, I don't want you to get upset with yourself. I know it's easy to do sometimes, but being introverted is not a bad thing regardless of what other people tell you. And having some social anxiety is completely normal. Believe it or not, some of the biggest producers, some of the biggest artists in the industry are introverts as well. I wanted to make this video to let you know that you're not alone. Now, one interesting thing that I found over the years is that being an introvert or even shy can really work to your advantage at times when it comes to in-person networking because when you're face to face with people introverts tend to be pretty good listeners and trust me people in the music business love talking about themselves and what they're doing so don't think that you need to be fully loaded with things to talk about for hours at these networking events now i say that because as introverts we're usually really good at overthinking pretty much everything now as an introverted person or someone with social anxiety we need to be able to utilize the internet as our unfair advantage. See, as introverts, we love our solitude. We love focusing on things that we can do alone. So when it comes to developing a powerful brand, networking through social media and email, implementing marketing strategies, etc., we can really thrive and build a buzz from behind the screen. And don't get me wrong, guys, human interaction will always be important. There'll always be a need and a place for that. But we live in an age where we have the potential to go viral, build an audience, make a comfortable income from our music without having to have a record deal, without having to be present at every industry party like they used to have to do in order to get their big break. Now, the next thing I learned, you might not want to hear about it because I didn't want to hear about it myself, but when it comes to networking events, studio sessions, shows, parties, etc., practice makes perfect. You gotta start small and conquer those fears, conquer those insecurities. This works for being introverted as well as conquering some social anxiety. Now, I'm not saying it's gonna be easy, but if you want it bad enough, you're gonna take steps to unparalyze yourself. A good way of doing this is to get a part-time job in the retail space or to volunteer for an organization that's gonna have you working with a lot of people. All right, so another thing that I highly recommend for anyone who considers themselves an introvert is to take control of your time and intentions. Now, what I mean by this is when you're making conscious decisions to go out in public, go to events, meet up with people in general, you put yourself in a proactive mindset rather than a reactive mindset. Now, a proactive mindset has more purpose, more confidence, you're in control. A reactive mindset makes you the victim, throws you out of your comfort zone and can trigger that anxiety that some of us still deal with. Look guys, developing your music-based brand and business, it's not easy, it's not supposed to be easy. And the marketing side alone can be incredibly difficult and costly if you don't know what you're doing. Trust me, I've been there. That's why I make these videos. Now, I've been reached out to multiple times from you guys asking me for help with your music marketing, your business development. So I'm incredibly excited to announce that I'm now offering free strategy calls on a first come first serve basis to anyone who's serious about turning their passion for music into a legitimate business. But like I said, it's free. So spots are gonna be incredibly limited since I'm offering this to all of you guys. Now I'll put a card up on the screen now if you're interested in learning more and to book that call. Now, one thing that really bothers me is that some people still use the word introverted like it's a handicap, while others, my brothers and sisters out there, embrace it as a badge of honor. I wanna know in the comments below which one you do. Now, I want you to be able to embrace the strengths that you possess within you rather than search for the weaknesses. In fact, I want you to watch this video right here that's gonna help you unlock that inner strength and confidence that I know you have inside. So next, click on this video. I invite you to join the channel family if you haven't already by smashing that little subscribe button and then hitting that bell icon and until next time i'd love for you to come connect with me over on instagram all my contact information will be in the description box below 